Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's video we'll be tackling a common issue faced by Excel users, why won't my Excel files open? Whether you're a student, a professional or simply use Excel for personal purposes, this error message can prevent you from accessing important data. Not to even mention how frustrating it can be. But as always, that's where I come in. I will show you some easy steps that you can use to fix the Excel cannot open the file error message. But before we get into the profound knowledge of that, kindly subscribe to this channel. Also remember to turn on notifications so that you get notified whenever I upload other interesting videos like this one. But now sit back, relax, and let's dive into how to fix the Excel cannot open the file issue. As the saying goes, knowing the root of a problem is the first step in solving that problem. So why is your Excel file behaving stubborn? Let's find out. Excel is a powerful software tool that allows users to create and manipulate spreadsheets, but sometimes it can run into issues that prevent it from opening. I have drafted out a list of five common reasons why Excel might not be opening. Reason one, problematic extensions. One reason why Excel may not be opening is due to problematic extensions. Excel files can have various extensions, such as .xls or .xlsx, which can cause conflicts with other software programs installed on your computer. For example, if you have another program installed that also uses the same file extension, it may cause a conflict that prevents Excel from opening the file. To resolve this issue, you can try to change the extension of the file, or you can try to open the file in a different program that can read Excel files. Reason two, broken file association. Another reason why Excel may not be opening is due to a broken file association. This means that your computer may not be recognizing Excel as a default program to open certain file types, such as .xls or .xlsx files. To fix this issue, you can try to reassociate Excel with these file types by right-clicking on the file, selecting Open With, and then selecting Excel from the list of programs. Reason three, outdated or corrupted Microsoft Office. If your Microsoft Office suite is outdated or has become corrupted, it can prevent Excel from opening. This can happen if you haven't updated Office in a long time, or if a recent update has caused issues with Excel. To resolve this issue, you can try to update your Microsoft Office software to the latest version, or try repairing your Office installation. Reason four, lack of communication with other applications. Sometimes Excel may not be opening due to a lack of communication with other applications installed on your computer. For example, if you have a third-party antivirus program installed, it may be blocking Excel from opening or accessing certain files. To fix this issue, you can try to temporarily disabling your antivirus program and then see if Excel opens up without any issues. And finally, reason five, corrupt Excel file. One of the most common reasons why Excel may not be opening is due to a corrupted Excel file. This can happen if the file was not saved properly or if it became corrupted due to a system error or even worse, a virus. To fix this issue, you can try to repair the file using the built-in Excel repair tool or try to restore a previous version of the file if it was backed up. So if you think your Excel file did not face any of the problems I've just talked about, there are also several other reasons why Excel may not be opening. But here is the good news. No matter what caused the Excel files not opening error, you're in good hands, because I have also come up with various ways you can easily use to fix the error and gain access back to your original Excel documents. And that brings us to the next part. All right, so you've tried to open an important Excel file, but you're getting an error message that says unable to open Excel file because the file format or file extension is not valid. In this part, I'll walk you through a few simple solutions to fix this error and get you back to your spreadsheets in no time. So let's get started. This solution is divided into two parts. First, it's possible that the problem is with the file extension or the extensions in the Excel application. Second, if you use Excel extensions to expand the application's capabilities, it can cause issues. If this is the case for Excel, then I can help you with that. To begin, launch the Excel application from the Start menu. 
Then at the top of the page, select the file tab to see several options. To proceed, select options from the displayed menu. Then choose the add-ins option in the dialog box on the left and go to the manage drop-down menu at the bottom. Choose com add-ins and then click go. In the option that opens up, deselect all the add-ins. After successfully disabling all the add-ins, click OK to confirm your choices. You can now attempt to open the Excel file that was previously unable to open, and hopefully this should resolve the problem. If not, the issue could be with the Excel file extension. Excel files are available in two file formats. While XLS was still in use until 2003, XML along with XLSX became the new file extension from then on. Because these two file formats are incompatible, the file extension is most likely the cause of the Excel file not opening. You'd have to go from XLSX to XSL or vice versa. To modify the file extension, just follow the next procedure. First, right click on the file you want to open and select rename from the drop down menu. Change the Excel file extension from XLS to XLSX or vice versa. After that, open the Excel file. If it opens, you have successfully resolved the problem, but if it doesn't, then you might need to try the next method. A file association is what allows your Excel files to open smoothly. It instructs the Excel program to open the file. Yet there are situations when the file association fails and Excel refuses to open the file. This occurs because Excel is unaware that it should open the file in the first place. But I will now show you how to fix the Excel file will open issue. To begin, open the control panel on your computer. Then open programs and choose default programs. Now click set your default programs and a new window should appear. Scroll down to the bottom where you will find reset all default apps and click the reset button. That should help fix the issue. However, if you are still faced with the problem, then you may need to try repairing Microsoft Office. If you are still having a Microsoft Excel won't open issue, this next step should be helpful. Because another reason Excel may not open in Windows 10 is if your Microsoft Office is damaged. You could uninstall it or even update the package, but that would require a lot of work. Instead, try the repair option first. It works well even with upgraded Microsoft Office settings. I will now show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to repair Microsoft Office. To begin, hit the Windows key and the R keys simultaneously to bring up the Run dialog box. Then enter the following A P P W I Z dot C P L in the field provided. This will open the Windows pane with programs and features. Look in the list for Microsoft Office and then right click on it when you have found it. Pick change from the available options. Sometimes the repair option will appear here too. If so, just click on it. If you click change, select quick repair from the menu that appears. Then select the repair button and proceed with the alternatives that appear. This will restore your Microsoft Office and if this was the problem, Excel should now open up within a few minutes. But if this still doesn't work, I will recommend you go for a professional repair tool, as there are lots of repair options available, but they may just waste your time. If all the methods I've talked about do not tackle your problem, then unfortunately the Excel file may be corrupted. If this is the case though, Repairist can help you fix it. It is easy to use with clear instructions and a high success rate to fix your broken files. I will now show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to repair a damaged Excel document with Repairist. The best part about using Repairist is that it provides you with two repair options. You may choose to use the software and then you may also settle for the online repair option which is absolutely free. The first step is to download and install Repairist. Then launch the Repairist software on your computer. Click on the File Repair button on the home screen to start repairing the corrupted Excel file. Click on the Add button to add the corrupted file and browse to the location where the corrupted file is saved and then of course select it. And then click on the Repair button to start the repair process. 
You will now have to wait for the software to scan and repair the corrupted Excel file. But once the repair process is complete, you'll be able to preview the repaired file. If everything seems okay, click on the save button to save the file. Once saved, verify the repaired Excel file opens up. If so, then that's it. And these are the steps you need to follow to repair a corrupted Excel file using the Repairit software. If you wish to use Repairit online, well, here's how you go about it. The first step is to go to Repairit online at the following website address. You now need to upload the damaged Excel file. So click on the Add File button to upload the damaged Excel file from your computer. If you wish, you can also drag and drop the file into the designated area. Once the damaged Excel file is uploaded, Repairit Online will begin repairing the file. Wait for the repair process to complete. This may take you some time depending on the size of the file. Once the process is complete, you can now save the repaired file. If everything looks fine after opening it up and verifying it is okay, that means you have successfully fixed your damaged Excel file with Repairit Online. However, it is important that I mention when using Repairit's online repair feature to fix Excel issues, it's not like using Repairit on your desktop. It has supported Excel types and size limits. Further information can be seen on the platform's website, but basically, per week you may repair up to 20 files with a file size of up to 20 megabytes. All the methods I've discussed in this video should be helpful in answering your question, why won't my Excel files open? However, if you want a reliable repair option, I would strongly recommend you go for Wondershare Repair It. It is without a doubt the most reliable and efficient solution to get your file back on track. With its advanced repair algorithms, you can easily recover your data and restore your file in just a few clicks. So don't let that error frustrate you any longer. Before I go, however, if you've enjoyed this video, then please drop a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please also share your thoughts in the comment section below and tell us what you think about using Wondershare Repair It to fix your Excel documents. But until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you all very soon.